So this is my journaling is hidden under there. Okay, this one is inspired by Karen Ellis. And this is what started all the she had she was showing us how to do a, a neat technique um, to stamp through a stencil and her stencil was, I think it might have been the ringlets actually and I have it now but I didn't at the time anyway I wanted to do something sort of like that and I used the uh, rubber bands as stamps through a stencil that I made for myself okay so this is the stamp that I didn't have but I do now Donna Downey Studios and what I did is I stamped it and cut it out I use my exacto knife but I'm going to use scissors this time okay so I have the the bird template and I can just I put it on I can put it on the paper and then do the Okay, I put away the other ink pad, but do the string thing um, and do this. And if it were with the other ink pad, it would look prettier. Uh, but um, you get the idea. And then you. Well, you would do that all the way around. Color it with your watercolor pencil or crayon. With different colors here and there, just to make it prettier. Okay, and then of course you dissolve it. Use the water and dissolve it but then you have the image and then you can cut out the image and you'd have something like this but it would be pretty like the ones in the journal spread and then you can use this over and over again until it you know until it's run its course and you can also use this um, which I did um, in another spread um, you can use your Xyron to make this into a sticker I love my Xyron. Only thing about it is I I always need a refill cuz I'm constantly using it now. See, and this is now a sticker. And the leaves, I made myself a a template for those too. Not a template, a stencil. So yes, and then I was just using up bits and pieces from this. Th these leaves were from a life book lesson, and uh, yeah, just a bunch of bits and pieces from other pieces of other artworks and lesson experiments and stuff. Um, and then I think I drew. Yes, I drew this for a life book lesson, and then journaled about it here and then just drew just other things that anyway just uh yeah okay now this one is kind of fun just hold on a sec when I reset it here okay so this oh looks like I need to pull out some glue because one of the fishies swam away I'll just put him aside for now. Okay, um, so this is how it looks, and um, 
so there's mermaid and then her bits and pieces from her environment and some journaling on the back and then there's a sea serpent and he's he's made with used dryer sheets and markers and stuff but anyway so yeah um, and piece of he's on uh, yeah on a piece of cardstock as well but anyway and then these jellyfish are um, used dryer sheets and drew various things so yeah this one this one was kind of fun oh and the the background is a crumpled up piece of paper with um, paint and I was just ex and bubble wrap and stuff that I was experimenting with um, and yes the background didn't really work out quite the way I wanted it to but anyway and so yeah I just drew and cut out fussy cut a bunch of things and put it together Okay, so yeah, this one doesn't really have a explanation exactly. It's just a just a doodle, just a squiggly experiment, and and then the flowers were experiments too. I kind of like the way they turned out. Uh, basically, it's a piece of scrapbooking paper and cut out with uh, special scissors, um, edgers, and. And of course, that is just a piece of string that bundled up there. So these were the scissors that I used, um, and I just basically made a circle. And I wasn't really careful about how well I made it. And then I just kind of crumpled it up and then opened it up again. And then I glued a piece of this string in the middle. Glue there. So, it, yeah, again, inspired by several things. Um, so, yeah. Just an abstract piece, basically. Intuitive piece, too. Okay, and this, this was inspired both by Dee Dee and an ad that I saw. Okay, so this is the inspiration. The, um, the hourglass I, and the butterfly wings I printed from a photo off the internet. But this was a, a Chanel advertisement in some kind of in a shopper's drug mart magazine or the flyer thing in a flyer and so precious time cherish every moment it says here um, and I a painted version of this so this is the painting in progress it's almost done but I wanna I wanna fix the flowers and a few a few other tweaks I was working on a life book lesson life book of 2012 um, and this is just an intuitive piece because it, because there were bits and pieces from from other projects that kind of showed through and stuff so.